so basically uh, what is the ATL what is SSIS and uh, what are all the tools using I need answers for these questions what are all the tools using for designing SSIS packages and uh, what are all what is the control flow and data flow a difference Put in mute. Yeah, I'll put in mute. What is the control flow and data flow? And what are the tasks and transformations used in your project? Okay. So tasks coming under control flow and uh, transformations coming under data flow and uh, what is precedence constraint links okay what is what are the different kind of loadings in SSIS and what is incremental and fully loading different ways to load incremental loading what is what are the different types of SCDs slowly changing dimensions SCD 0 SCD 1 SCD 2 all these And uh, so once you are uh, telling something like what are all the tasks we have used and what are all the transformations you have used in your project, they will try to ask the questions about that particular task. Let's say if you are telling I have used execute uh, SQL task. So what is the purpose we are using execute SQL task? And what is the so you should know at least uh, execute SQL task thoroughly and data flow task and uh, execute process task and uh, bulk insert task and file system task and uh, FTP task and send mail task okay if you want to write down something anything related to dotnet script okay in that situation we have a script task the script task is for the writing some uh, she sharp code whatever if you are familiar with that one and these are the some uh, important tasks to use regularly in your project so you can tell them i have used execute sql task data flow task and execute process task and file system task okay don't make complicated your uh, interview and the transformations what are all the transformations you have used if they are asking you can tell whatever you, we have in this project like uh, data conversion derived column aggregate yeah look up 
multicast and uh, conditional split match union match join and uh, OLEDB command okay and they might ask uh, what are all the sources you have used um, OLEDB source access source and file source CSV also same whatever you can use and destination OLEDB destination I have used you can tell them okay and uh, so the next question they will ask uh, inside the lookup what is a full cache partial cache and no cache what are all these options and what option you will choose in your project okay and then they will ask how are you doing error handling in your project or logging in the project and uh, how are you deploying SSIS packages how are you scheduling SSIS jobs and what is project level parameters How did you configure? Okay, and uh, what is a master child package? We just created right uh, instead of scheduling all uh, SSIS packages, we can make one master package. So, all the child packages we will call through that, and they will ask what is the flow of your ssis package flow means you have to tell we have created our uh, incremental uh, loading package right first we have taken one execute sql task and then another task and we are taking the last runtime of your ssis package so all those things you need to explain over here what is the flow of your ssis package okay and then they will ask uh, how many packages created in your project and how many dimension tables and how many dimension packages and how many fact packages okay and uh, what is the source system for your package and uh, what are the different uh, containers what are the different containers sequence for loop for each loop inside the for each loop container what are all the enumerators for each file enumerator for each uh, ADO enumerator for each variable enumerator for SMO object enumerators okay so those are all the things uh, ma'am did we cover sequence container nothing to cover that sequence container actually the sequence oh, container okay. is uh, the purpose of, uh, let's say, for example, you have 10 tasks. Okay. Okay. So what we will do, 
for example i have one execute sql task another execute sql task one more i want to execute these two i don't want to execute this one okay how can you do at a time if i am right clicking on my package and i want to execute these two or something whatever in the single execution i want to execute these two and i don't want to execute this one in that situation simply take one sequence container we just keep these two over here that's all we don't configure anything in the sequence container that's all okay and you okay. click on the sequence it is just grouping the tasks that's all okay okay it it will it will consider whatever the two tasks we have into one task okay ram and how much how many records you may get daily for your exercise package for your fact table okay so if you are preparing all these questions then uh, you will uh, cover your interview and they will ask the first question is what are all the roles and responsibilities in your project okay so you should know about this uh, execute sql task what are the different options inside over there all those things you need to know okay so 